Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Matt. Hello, I'm Ralph. I'm Daniel. Hi, I'm Autumn. And we're some of the Veggie Boys and Girls. And we want to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, consider subscribing because we can do a lot of things on the farm, but one thing we can't do is grow this channel without your help. Hey everyone, Dad and I are out for a ride this morning. We are going to pick up some more parts for the tractor. Uh, how you feeling about this rainy weather, Brian? It's cold. Because it's cold and rainy, it's a good day to go for a drive, so that's what we're doing. We're heading out to the place we were at the other day just to pick up some parts. No, oh, yep, nothing exciting. Dad, a train must have just went through. You know how I can tell? How can you tell? I can see its tracks. Uh, we're leaving the New Holland dealership. Uh, Dad, what's the problem? <laughs> no hat and no jacket. Matthew ordered the wrong part. When we were going over the information to order, I don't know if something got messed up or what, but we didn't. they didn't have the right part for us. So now we've got the right part ordered and we have to come back Saturday to pick that up. It was a right side, left side issue. We got back from picking up the parts and we've been doing a couple other jobs. I wanted to show you guys we have our onion sets ready and out to sell. Now these onion sets, these are the ones that you plant the little bulbs in the ground. Uh, we do quite a few of those. Um, but I just wanted to show everybody that we got our onion sets and they are almost, it's almost time to get started. Fortunate for us it doesn't rain in the greenhouse so the girls have been in here and they have been getting a lot of stuff done. Uh, you guys remember that giant stack of baskets that we did? Well look at it now. Yeah. They've planted all the hanging baskets that we had filled. So now we have to fill more. We have all those pots filled and we actually filled 500 more. But that's why we have greenhouses down over the hill we have to get ready. Because as this greenhouse gets full, we need to start moving stuff down. It becomes quite dangerous working in the greenhouses because there's low hanging objects. You hit your head a lot. The girls, they don't really worry about it. They say it's not their problem because they go right under them. Autumn doesn't even care. Her head goes right underneath them. We have a few different greenhouses here at the farm. We have the germination greenhouse. We have this greenhouse, which we call number one. This is the gutter connect greenhouse that has three sections. Then down over the hill, we have three more greenhouses. We have the cafeteria. We have a taller open greenhouse. That's for like broccoli, cabbage. It can handle the little colder weather. And then we have another greenhouse that's just for hanging baskets. If we didn't have those lower greenhouses, we would get ourselves in a lot of trouble because there's just not enough room in this greenhouse to hang all of these hanging baskets. When it comes to greenhouses, you only can get money with the room that you have. So when you have a greenhouse, you want to make sure you fill it up the best that you can because that's where your money is. Because we have to heat this entire space. So we want to use as much as we can for plants, vegetables, whatever it may be. all the way up here. Isn't that a little tall for you? Now this would be too tall. Working in the greenhouse and hanging these baskets may start to seem like a repetitive job, but we only do it for like two weeks out of the year. So it's not too bad, 
It does sometimes get boring, but you also understand how important it is to get these hung up. We're gonna get to the point where we have flats of petunias, flats of marigolds just covering these tables. And we can't get started on those until we have our hanging baskets moved out of here. You're like a flower carrying guy. Yeah, I know. I guess I got stuck doing this now. We just got finished in this greenhouse. It's still raining outside. I have to go up to the germination greenhouse and check on some things really fast. Up in the germination greenhouse, let's see how our onions are coming up. They look really, really good. We've got red onions. We've got candy onions. We've got some white onions up here. This is my lemon tree technically mine and my wife's lemon tree, but I take care of it. She doesn't watch the video, so she won't know that I said that. Okay, I can't. Take two. It my and my wife's lemon tree, my great aunt Diane gave us this lemon tree. Uh, it's supposed to make lemons in like the first two or three years. I don't know what year we're on. I don't know how to prune lemon trees, so I'm kind of like shooting from the hip here. Something we are an expert on is some veggies. We've got our cauliflower growing, our cabbage, kohlrabi, we've got ghost peppers, habaneros, kale, broccoli, and even some basil. Hey Matthew, I have a question. Do you read all the comments? Yes, of course. Now what kind of candies are you making over here today? Cherry nut. So what goes in the cherry nut, just so the people know? Uh, butter, cream cheese, confectionery sugar, cherries, and nuts. Grammy's also been working on some cream cheese rolls and pineapple cheese, and then she's also got nut roll. Oh yeah, that's good. Now Grammy, you've been cooking and baking a long time, but how did you get started? I'm sure there's a lot of people that are wondering that. My husband liked to feed everybody. So he all the hired hands had to come in and eat. Sometimes for breakfast, sometimes lunch, and almost always supper. So when you have a lot of people to feed, you soon figure out what to cook. So that's how you learn how to cook, but how did you learn how to bake all this stuff? I don't know, I, I baked a cake a day for the hired hands, and I had a good cookbook, Betty Crocker cookbook. Tells you what you need to know. And then I just started baking. So Grammy got married at 17, she didn't know how to cook, didn't know how to bake, and now look at her guys, she's making us all fat. So I don't know if a lot of you guys have seen this picture, but this picture has my great-grandfather, my great-great-grandfather in it, and my great-great-great-grandfather. And my dad is the fifth generation, and me and my brothers, we are the sixth generation born on the farm. Uh oh, what are you sitting here? You're looking at a book, what are you ordering now? I'm not ordering anything. I'm just looking up references. Here's an Andrew drumstick. Frozen or fresh? Just finished up work in the farm market. I'm heading up to the house. I've got myself some coffee. I think my dad and my mom, they're doing some stuff down in the farm market. So they're not gonna be up here for a little bit, which means dinner is gonna be later than normal, which means I might need a snack. All right, everyone, we're sitting down for a dinner and we are having corned beef and cabbage. It's kind of like a soup, looks really good. I'm very hungry. But this is where we're gonna end the video tonight, guys. I wanna thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye Bye-bye. Bye, and subscribe.